Hey guys, what's going on? So today I wanted to start off our new little mini series off to the side of My Wonderful World called My Wonderful World Eats. My Wonderful World Eats. I'll get there. We've already started MWW Drinks and that uh, was up here. You can uh, take a look at the card above if you want to see that video. I am going to be cooking yellowfin tuna and microgreens. I want to say they are micro arugula. Arugula! So I like arugula a lot. Micro arugula is a lot like it, but tiny. If you decide to stick it in a pan, it does exactly what spinach does. It shrinks down like to a nothing of its size. So that's fine. That's what we're going to be doing today. We'll take some of that and uh, making yellowfin tuna. We're going to be using avocado oil. It's looking for my face. Oh, find my face. There we go. Hi! Okay, avocado oil. Uh, for the fish itself, I've been using avocado oil lately. It uh, cooks at a slightly higher temperature. I really like the flavor behind it. Um, and then for the arugula, we're going to be using just some olive oil that I have infused with rosemary because rosemary is the bomb. Uh, so anyway, today we actually have sponsors. For our very first episode, we have sponsored ingredients, which is awesome. Our fish came from La Perla um, Seafood Market here in Kissimmee, Florida. They just opened up. Um, there's an article on the blog about it, and there's a video that's going to come out very shortly about it. If the video's already come out, then it'll be a card above me. If you are anywhere near the Kissimmee, Florida area, definitely check them out. Check out the blog article about it, too. We've got location pictures, all that kind of stuff. And the microgreens were actually sponsored by Gordon Food Services, which is pretty wicked. If you don't know what GFS is, uh, they're a Michigan-based company, and they do, like, bulk food stuff, huge cakes and massive orders of produce stuff like that anyway um they supplied that for us so let's get cooking so gfs also supplied us with like a bunch of edible flowers i don't know what to do with these i mean i ate a marigold it tasted like a marigold i don't know i don't know what to do with these are they to eat or are they to to garnish but be edible i don't know they're fun looking though do it, focus, there we go. Yeah, do it. And uh, I've been eating these little by little, especially with my fish. Um, lovely lemon, because what really is tuna without a lemon? I would love to find my uh, elephant garlic, but it seems to have uh, stomped away. There's a good elephant joke for you. Get some microgreens in. I love the smell of cooking onions, it is delicious. toys sing or make some sort of sound or noise so yeah that's, that's what we're being treated to right now so, beautiful sound of that <clears throat> just a couple like I said no matter if I use the whole bin like I just did it's gonna shrink down to like an ounce or probably more than that but it'll shrink down very very small anything really but um, especially for him I don't like to overspice These are nice little pieces too. Just pick. So these pieces aren't too huge, they're not too thick, so they are going to cook up very nicely. Actually, I'm gonna mix the baking completely. Because they are thin enough that they're gonna cook through nicely. And relatively quickly. I apologize for that sound, but it's necessary. Um, in my greens, I like to add some Creole, if I can find the Creole, hello. I'm gonna go two nuts with the Creole because it's a salt, pepper, paprika mixture. But it's quite good. And those greens are just about done. Kill that. It is what it is. Stick a lemon slice on top of each of these. Cook it for a minute. Give it a 
little squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You guys can tell me everything that I'm doing wrong in the comments below. Comments actually help us out a lot. And if you do have any recommendations for future videos or recipes you'd like to send us, you can hit us up uh, in the comments below, but it's a lot easier if you hit us up on our Facebook, My Wonderful World, or if you go to our Instagram, My Wonderful World, or if you go to, oh my God, um, somewhere else. Oh, our blog, mywonderfulworld.freaking.com. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm really good at this, as you can see. Also, these tongs are kind of crap. They're super slippery. I don't know what they're meant to pick up, but it's not things. <laughs> the really nice thing about this uh, avocado oil is it doesn't burn off super, super fast. Um, and if you cook it properly, then you're not going to end up with really super oily food because it's a lot thinner. And like I said, it cooks hotter, so it gets a nice crisp on whatever you're cooking in it. I'll probably make some pork chops later this week and uh, show you guys what I do for that too. Get a good char on those lemons. Yes, indeed. And there she blows. Hello. Hi. There we go. Bring it near my face. Ah, lovely. Oh, it's going to burn. Mmm. Oh my god, okay. Sorry, that's wicked good. Mmm, okay. I'm very proud of that. Mmm, not overspiced. Nice punch of lemon. Where's my face? Hello. Hi. Thanks, camera. Um, get that off the heat. On a different heat. I'm very proud of this. So, um, it's dinner time for Gabriel and I. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Um, I kind of already said everything I needed to say, but definitely check out the blog, the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter. Yes. And our other YouTube videos. We travel, and we cook, and we drink, and we're married. Um, we have a trip tomorrow to a place called uh, Tree Trek. That's uh, actually right up the road from us. And it's like a high risk course in the woods, hence the trees. That's gonna be neat, so check that out. That's going to come up pretty soon here. Thanks once again for uh, joining us. And we have switched from Don't Forget to Travel. We are now Wander Further. I like it better. It's shorter. It fits on cards better. So people, thank you once again for supporting us. Wander Further. And have a great day. See you in the next one. Yes.